Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to Worms Revolution and I have a custom battle here against the AI and it's a Rome themed custom battle because Rome 2 is out so my team all consists of people who have fought in the Roman era within the classical antiquity time so I have Julius Caesar, I have Arminius, I have Spartacus and I have Octavian, they're the four Worms that I chose and I hope you enjoy this video. I just thought it'd be a nice idea. Oh, look at that on Octavian. Anyway, just thought it'd be a nice idea to do this because it's a Saturday a evening the at the time of me recording this. I got a video currently uploading. I had some time to kill. I just fancied a game of worms. So here we are playing this game again. And I do enjoy a nice game of worms every now and then. Of a cluster bomb. Excellent. Some damage to Steve. Minus 22. So at this point in time, it's just over a week to go into Room 2. And there's been quite a lot of screenshots and footage that's been released recently. So go and check it out on the Room Total War forums. If you haven't seen them yet. Oh, that's a great. Oh my god, I'm still alive somehow. Spartacus is still alive, and it's Shakespeare. Oh my god, Shakespeare in my team. <laughs> I thought I changed all their names. For some reason, I got Shakespeare. Okay, I don't know how that happened. It's my mistake. Damn it. Uh, oh, nice time. Interesting. Hopefully, this will work. Bye bye, Carl. Watch out for the laser sharks. And a nice little win there for me. One down, three to go. Etio Auditorio. I thought I changed all their names. This is weird. Maybe I forgot to change the actual order of the wounds. I must have, must have uh, made a cock up on the order they all go in. Damn it. I actually named four wounds. Roman names and for some reason I just... Oh, I know, I've cocked up. I apologise. Here we go. Bazooka in the face. Minus 35. And a weapon crate has just popped up onto the battlefield. gonna get me that then. Got away with it. It's all going good so far. Nice little health crate for me to pick up. And it's Octavian's turn. Ooh, what's here? Ah, oh, it's a mine! Nice. No! 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 Oh. <laughs> I forgot how to jump. Uh, what am I doing, man? What am I doing? And I am currently taking some screenshots of this footage as well. So, if you want to see the photos from my gameplay, check out some of the uh, some like there. Yeah, check out my Facebook group because I'll be uploading some screenshots on a regular basis. I also have some screenshots of Rome 2 when that's released. I still move by the AI there. You do not want to anger me. You do not want to anger me. I agree, my friend. I agree. What to do? What to do? Let's see. Let's see. What does water strike? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna go for about. How do I swap this round? I'm gonna go for about there. I'm hoping to try and get both of them. Hoping the water might. That's what I wanted. Could go both ways. Oh no! I don't want to quit. Go down there as well. See, I got them both underwater. Doing it that way. I could be sneaking just for a good up now. Blocking them both off and wait the game out, but that'd be quite boring, so I won't do that. It's quite negative way of playing. That's a good shot. That's a good shot there by the AI. I will get my revenge, hopefully. Right, who's turning? Do I go underwater to get that? Can't be asked. Right. 
Um, bunker buster uh, airstrike. Interesting. Could I use an airstrike? I could use an airstrike. Um, and go for about there. I'm hoping to get the mine. Get the mine down there. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work. I did catch him in the face with one though. I was hoping the mine would fall down and with the combined combined effect of the airstrike and the mine, it might have taken him out. But you should be able to escape now if he if he wants to escape, of course. Um, I'm thinking when Rome is released, they may actually decide on an upload schedule. Because um, I'm going to be busy as well in September. Probably for the next few months. So I'm not quite sure how many videos I'll be able to upload on a regular basis. So I'm thinking of perhaps doing four videos a week. Perhaps a day in between some of them. To give me a chance to actually make them and edit them, render them and then upload. So uh, I'm going to think... I'm going to have a little think about um, you know, what what to have, because it's going to be Rome mainly anyway. And I may sneak in the odd episode of Rome's Revolution, or maybe another campaign, but it's going to be Rome videos all the way, pretty much. Probably 90, 90 to 95% of the videos over the next few months will just be Rome too. So I'm going to have to wait and see. But yeah, that's the kind of idea I'm looking for at the moment. I don't like jump. Oh, right, there we go. I can tell I don't play this on a. I haven't played this for a while because I'm asking myself how do I jump. There we go, smack him in the face with this. There we go. Next move, I can poke him down there onto the mine and he'll be gone. With a bit of luck. In my opinion, this is probably the best Worms game though. I've played quite a few of them. I've played the original Worms and Worms Armageddon, and I thought Worms Armageddon was the best, but it's a little bit dated now. Worms Armageddon's not um, quite, the, quite the game it once was. But that's just to do with age mainly. But um, as far as other Worms titles go, I did play the 3D version Worms Forts Under Siege and Worms. Uh, I can't believe what it's called. Uh, there's two of them. Worms 4, that's right. Worms 4 Mayhem. I did try out those games, but... Yes, yes, go all the way down. Yes. Good, good, good. But I didn't think much of the 3D games. It, it took away what Worms was. It's like... It, it's be like, like Super, Smash Bro Super Smash Brothers franchise. Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers Melee. At Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it'd be like turning those games into a full 3D game, and it just wouldn't work. It's good when it's like this, when it's um, 2D screen. I mean, it, you know, it's been quite successful this game because they got the right balance of 3D and 2D. Essentially, still a 2D game, but with some 3D features, which is what I think is the best thing for this franchise at the moment. In my opinion, anyway. It might be totally wrong, but. That's my two cents, as the saying goes, I think. Probably American saying, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's what I think, personally. And this is where I'm crap now. We've actually got to use skill to win a battle. Um, how the hell am I going to do this? This probably won't work. I do actually have a bazooka mind. I'm going to go with the bazooka. Oh, come on. <laughs> Last time I say I'm going with a bazooka. But yeah, um you know, this is a good game. If you've never played it before, I I highly recommend it. I'm not sure how much it is at the moment. I I paid pretty much the full price when I not long after it came out. But we do often have Steam sales with Worms games, so you may be better off checking out a Steam sale. Oh look at that. 1% left. So yeah, check out the Steam sale if you if you want to get this game. Um, what can I do? Right, I'm gonna go with the bazooka simply because this should it should bend. No, 
I was hoping that I'd bend like across there because of the wind, but unfortunately I nearly killed myself. Damn it. But yeah, um, check out the steam sales. See if there are any steam sales. You might get it for a good price. I actually in the recent steam sale, summer sale, when everybody's going nuts on steam buying loads of cheap games. I, I did myself, I bought myself a Chivalry Medieval Warfare, which I haven't played yet. I still haven't played it. I bought it. That's probably something I should download and do a couple of Oh, a couple of videos for because I haven't actually played it yet myself. So maybe I'll do that sometime this week, just before Rome is released. But um, I actually bought Mark of the Ninja in the Steam sale. That was a pretty good game. Um, it should be quite good, hopefully. Let's see. Not quite. Mark of the Ninja is pretty good. And I got that for quite cheap. I think it was two ninety nine in British money. So I don't know what that is in dollars. I think it's four dollars, four dollars thirty something. I think I'm not very good with converting money, but that was very cheap. And for the price, I mean, come on, I get a full fledged game for that price. It was brilliant. But I also bought Worms Armageddon on the PC, PC version. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I bought Women's Arm again and that was that was quite cheap. I don't think I paid much for that. I think I paid like five pounds, six pounds. We meet again. I can't quite remember, but it was like it was like fifty percent off. I just cannot remember it. Can I get a water bomb? See I am going to angle for a water bomb, so I'm gonna to have to go with the bazooka again. Tried and tested. Bazooka. I like to make it a bit more, give myself a bit more room to manoeuvre. Perhaps get a water bomb. And it's two against two. And it's not looking good so far. I got two wounds right on the edge. The AI may actually beat me in this, in this battle, which won't be good because I lost my last battle against the AI last week. So, yeah. So maybe, maybe a weekly episode of Worms. No, on a weekend. So maybe on a Sunday. I'm currently thinking, but I'm just going to have to wait and see how things go with my channel at the moment. I can't really confirm anything yet. Is this going to bend for me now? It doesn't look like it. Ah oh well, at least I didn't shoot myself this time. The plan is to try and get a water bomb down there push him down with our miners. I can get him in one go probably then. I'm thinking. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> Damn it. So, you cheeky so. sod. Don't I ever mind myself? Uh, I do. Stick up, what's I do? See, so, yeah, I, I can't remember what half these tools do because I haven't played for so long. <laughs> I'm plotting your demise. I'm gonna go with the water bomb. Should get enough of an angle. I think I've got enough of an angle. Yes, I have. Oh, perfect. Almost. Oh, I, I missed him. I thought that was going to be perfect. Then. This has turned into a bit of a stalemate at the moment. I should be able to get him, though. Next turn or so. Bring me a more worthy opponent. Nine. Ooh, great. Crate of joy. I'm actually gonna go for this crate down here, it's bugging me now. Ah, ah wrong button. Um how do I jump? No, that's not it. Oh, down here. I got it now. All for a sheep. I got? What have I got in store for you guys? We'll go with the bazooka again. Will it bend enough for me? It is bending! As you can tell, I'm crap with bazookas. And while we're here, let's take another screenshot. For my Facebook page. Here we go. i zoom in action. Oh, but he's coming right by me as well. I'm happy to get him. If I can calculate this so, properly, so. I might be able to get two of them out with Spartacus. At least that's the theory. 
at least so what I'm going to do is spark this, is get, get to some safety, get my bazooka, try and aim it behind their worm, and this should essentially kill him. Here we are. It was either get him into the water or get him onto the mine. I think the bazooka, the bazooka shot probably would have been enough anyway, but I just made sure of it anyway. Yeah, I hope you all enjoy my channel and, uh, you know, making these videos. I hope you enjoy them. I think this might be my... Oh, the mine. The mine's gonna... Oh, I go into the mine. Bugger. I'm hoping that you guys enjoy these videos. I enjoy making them. I think this may actually be my 100th video. It's either 100 or 101 now, so, you know, I'm doing pretty well. I'm glad I've reached that landmark. I have over 100 subscribers and I made my Slenderman video last week to celebrate that and that was pretty funny actually. My girlfriend wouldn't stop laughing when I made that video. Check it out yourselves. I was able to actually do a slow motion replay on one of my reactions which I haven't done before as well. Finally worked out how to do it. Probably about time as well. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty fun. I'm going to back for a sentry. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> that kind of didn't work at all. I was hoping the sentry would stay where it was, but oh well. It looked like he was coming down that way. What's he thinking? I may actually put two two battles into this one video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, or maybe I'll just... I'll record this, this one battle and I'll probably record another one straight after this. I got some time this evening to do that. Um, so we'll have two new battles coming up on my channel this week. Keep things ticking over. Oh, the mine's dropped now. Um, I'm going to continue to go with the bazooka. I'm starting to get a consistent shot away now. I'm not, I'm not getting far away. If I can... If I can keep plugging away at that, I might actually hit him with the bazooka shot. The angle's a little bit against me, but I think it might make contact with either him or me. With, uh, with either my worm or his worm, I should say. Ooh, I can actually hit him from here. At least try to defeat the problem is, if I don't kill him in this move, then... I'm not going to actually, I'm going to put a good... Uh... How do I rotate the good? There we are. I'm going to put the girder down. Oh, I didn't jump. I was going to jump. I forgot to jump. I, the reason I've done that is because he can't actually hit me at the moment from behind there. At least I don't think he can. I'm not sure. But I can get a good shot on him. See what I mean? Just hurt himself. Problem is, he's probably got a good shot on me. But now I can go for this. Oh wait, the wind's changed. <laughs> I didn't realise the wind's changed. I was going to say I can now go for the same shot as last time. I shouldn't be too far away perhaps, but that didn't quite work out as I planned. Oh, oh the good has saved my life. What a genius. I don't stand on my head. That's cool. Right. Let's have some fun. Where's the prod? This is what you get for peeing me off. You will regret your past mistakes. <laughs> and there we are. That's how you win you against the AI. Me. So most enemy worms killed four. Most friendly worms killed one. Most damage dealt at enemies 252. I'm going to continue this. I may actually can keep this video going along. I've decided now. That was quite a short battle, I think. So map generator, what have we got? Now we'll go with the sewer. So we'll have two battles in this video. A little bit of a bonus for you guys. And like I was saying earlier, um, thank you for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos. It does mean a lot to me. And I'm happy to make them. I don't do it for money or for fame or anything like that. I just do it because I enjoy making videos. And I enjoy uploading them. And I like to see them. I look, actually look forward to seeing if people like my videos and if people comment on them. Because I do like that kind of community aspect of, of YouTube. Surprising how... Oh, that's mean. Surprising how quickly people get involved. And I am quite new to YouTube, but I do... 
I do have my um, well, what was I trying to say? I am a bit rough around the edges, that's what I'm trying to say. Probably, but I do try my best. And that's all we can do. Bam. There we go. Nice little move there on Michael. I try my best, and that's what we can ask for, and I hope it's good enough for you guys. If not, then I will look to improve my videos in the future. And try to do things differently if possible. And I'm probably just rambling on right now. Oh, oh it's horrible. On Shakespeare. For some reason they got Shakespeare and Octavian. That's, that's a, a combination for worms right there. Um, oh, can I use baseball? I wonder if I can actually get one of these out of the arena from here. I don't think I can. No, not quite. That's a shame. I've got an idea for a good move there as well. Oh, look at this nice bit of water between the two. This is a nice little battlefield that's been generated here. Lots of possibilities, lots of water, lots of mines. I love it when that happens. Going back to what I was saying earlier, I just, just picked up on something. Like I was saying, with worms being 2D. You can see now, look at the rat's tail on the right hand side. That's brilliant animations for this game. You know, it really shows the, the levels are sort of alive. Oh, he hurt himself there. What's he done? He's actually hurt himself. It really gives you the idea that these levels are alive. And that you can interact with them and so forth. Oh, there's so many rooms down there to go for, but he's going to be a threat over there. I'm going to go with a bow missile on this guy. I'm going to try and get him up there. And I'm just going to go straight up. Hopefully this will work. Uh, oh, I want him to go more to the right. I was hoping to get him off, off the level where the rat is right now. But yeah, you know, the levels... I think they've got the right balance for this game. You know, they, were, they went with 3D with Worms for Mayhem. And Worms Forks Under Siege. And they didn't quite get the right balance and the 3D didn't work. But in this, the nice kind of combination of 2D and 3D, along with the kind of effects of the level, the way, you know, the way the explosions go, the water, I think it's the right sort of balance. And I think if they make any future Worms games, this is the kind of thing they've got to go for, in my opinion. For whatever that is with that. Right, this is where we can have some fun. We're going to get this crate, this fat wheel, petrol bomb. They're very, very nice indeed. Get myself up here, and we're going to go with... I could be cruel and go with the sentry gun. Which I think I will actually go with the sentry gun. Oh no! I didn't think it'd go that far. Oh well. Now that quick stayed on. So far, no deaths. Oh, the sentry gun can't reach him up here. It's poor. Poor by myself. What's he done? What's that? Hey! <laughs> Finally, that's what I wanted. Oh, I can't do anything from here. Make a run for it. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Nothing but <laughs> Is he dead? Oh, please be alive. He's still alive. <laughs> I went for the trick. I didn't think the mine would get that sort of range. Just need to kill myself. Oh, mamma mia. Mamma mia. Go on. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, my baby. Stop laughing. Right, I got an idea now. This should work. These guys are, are gonna are gonna not last long for that way. Uh, I need to get myself to higher ground. <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> They're sitting ducks. No pun intended. <laughs> Because of the water, but yeah, they haven't got a chance. They're underwater and they got a turret right by them. As soon as you move, you, you've had it. Just then they moved, and it's like a motion sensor sentry gun. Oh, you bastard. Ah, it burns. It burns, it does indeed. 
Shakespeare could die by here. Now I have to sit down in a conversation with you two visitors. Ready who? Can I get oh I can. Excellent. Right. What do we got here? I could use a water strike. I'm gonna use a water strike. Bombs away. And that didn't even work. Oh it did work. Excellent. So he's gone. He's a goner. There he is. The water strike worked. That's all I wanted. Smooth moves, eh? Smooth moves indeed. So, um. Another health crate. Spartacus needs a health crate as well. Oh. <laughs> the turret's worth again. Oh, this is quite funny. Oh, I know that. That's okay. I just gonna. Where's the turret? The turret's gone now. Oh, I can't get him with the turret anymore. He's the last worm, so I'm going to just kill him. It is time. It is time. Airstrike. I'm gonna, I'm gonna airstrike my own worm. But it will make me win the round. So I apologise for the friendly fire. But it worked. So... I need no allies. Here we go. I need no allies, indeed. Indeed. There we go. Another victory. Two wins in a row. I am on fire at the moment. But I'm going to end the episode there, so thank you for watching these two battles. It's been a pleasure to make them for you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.